Shana Wam, yeah, Shara. Shana Wam. Raka the Yahoah, Raka the Yahweshai, Bahashem, Raka, Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, the great Muslim, who teach on who well, who taught me his truth. Peace and salutation to the Akim, the fellow members of the Hopeful Light. Pushing this truth and risking all eyes throughout the four corners of the earth. To the Aqua, listening, listening, and learning. Shana Wam. Out here, week in and week out. Prophesied the downfall of America, the great Babylon, the great. And to preach good tidings to Israel, Jacob. Israel being our people before our place. Preaching salvation, good news, the gospel. You know? But, uh, we're occupied in prophecy. You know? Sirach 39, verse 1. Right? I was speaking the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Right? The outcome of this wicked kingdom. Right? Which will be destroyed. Right? By thermonuclear fire, nuclear heat. In tandem with those with, with the laser beam from the chariots. Right? With the world image cause UFOs. Right? But this place is through, man. We see Esau waxing worse. Esau getting more and more aggressive. Right? Esau's not playing. His mandates are getting more and more draconian. Because he knows he has but a short time. We're going to get right into the scriptures. Job chapter 20. This place is done, man. America the Great. Babylon the Great. Job chapter 20. And this is why they're moving so fast. Verse 4. Knowest thou not that this of old, since man was placed upon the earth, that the triumphing of the wicked short? The triumphing of the wicked is short. Hey, who's the wicked? Esau Edom. Right? Right, this is his kingdom. This is his victory. This is his world. Right? Doesn't it say in Revelation? It must be just a little season. We're in that little season. I when that little season begin. <coughs> At least that little season began at the start of the Renaissance, right after the Dark Ages, man. Revelation 20, verse 3. And cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up. Right, the devil, Esau Edom, this wicked, this wicked diabolical madman, man. That bottomless pit was Europe, right? And set a seal upon him, right? That was the, 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 the Dark Ages. And set a seal upon him that he, should that he should deceive the nations no more, right? And that was a time when he wasn't able to push forth his, uh, he, he had no talk, he had no talk. Couldn't say nothing, right? Till the thousand years should be fulfilled, and after that he must be loosed a little season, right? And that thousand years began in 395 A.D., Around the fall of uh, uh, the, 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 the Western Roman Empire, right? And the Renaissance started around 1495, 1492, right? And this is a little season. We're still in that little season, right? So the triumphing of the wicked is short. It's a short season because Yahweh is about to return and put, put you heathens, beginning with you Edomites, into subjection, man. Though His Excellency, Mount up to the heavens, and his head reach unto the clouds, right? He's lifted up. Esau Edom is lifted up. He's puffed up. Right? Let's get a scripture. You know? But the Mosai is about to do away with that. Book of uh, Obadiah, verse three. The pride of thine heart hath deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the cliffs of the rock. Right, and that's Esau. That's the trademark. The cliffs of the rock. Right. Going back to the Caucasus Mountains. Going back to Petra, uh, Mount Mount Petra, if I'm not mistaken, in Edom. Right. 
whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, in his heart, in his mind. And this is how Esau thinks. Who shall bring me down to the ground, right? And he's about to be brought down to the ground, right? Esau Edom is about to be brought down to the ground. Thus said the scripture. Job 20, verse 6, once again. Though his excellency mount up to the heavens, and his head reach up to the clouds, right? He's lifted up, right? His technology, his military, right? His monetary system, right? His head's lifted up, man. His mind's lifted up. He's very proud. Yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. They which have seen him shall say, where is he? Right? And this is, this is about to come on Esau Edom, man. Right? In the kingdom, in the kingdom, we're going to be like, where's this guy, man? What happened to him? Job 14, verse 5. And it reads, Seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou hast appointed his bounds that he cannot pass, right? The Most High set his bounds, man. This guy can't pass, just like when you're playing Monopoly as a, as, as, as a, as a child, man. Can't pass go for like four four dice rolls, six dice rolls until you can pass go. Right? The Most High set his bounds, man. So even though he's, he's, he's wilding out right now, Even though he's wilding out right now, at forcing his mandates, right? Cause we see that happening. And get, and making people make hard choices. Right? The most I said is bounds. He can't pass a certain point. Right? Thus says the scriptures. You know? And he's gonna get more draconian. These rules are gonna get stiffer, man. California just passed a law I read yesterday or the day before. And they're the first state to do so, mandating that all children in the school system. Right, and they're the second largest or the largest school school board system in America, right? It's either them or NYC, but they're they're right there with each other. And uh, they just passed the mandate. They they issued a mandate saying um, all children above the age of 12 must, you know, consume that 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 juice to be enrolled in school. And and it's all gradualism. Esau's gonna. Keep taking away, keep taking away. He's gonna make it as difficult as possible for anybody, absolutely anybody, to navigate through his system, man. Right? Psalms 94, verse 3. This guy's a wicked, wicked, diabolical. And he's gonna get wicked. Hey, listen, the scripture saved. The most high didn't shorten the days. We'll get that word willing. No flesh will be saved, man. Right? right? That's how wicked this guy is. He'd wipe out everything that's living on this planet. Nothing will be left if the Most High don't step in. Psalms 94. Verse 3. Lord, Yahweh, how long shall the wicked, how long shall the wicked triumph? How long shall they utter and speak hard things? And all the workers of iniquity boast themselves, right? And they boast themselves in their wickedness. And they continue to utter hard, they, they continue to utter, teach, move forward hard things, man. Hard agendas. Right? And we believe this is the prelude to the MOTB, man. And that time's fastly approaching. Right? Over there in the UK, they ain't got no fuel, no petrol, no gas. The store shelves are getting more and more beer. More and more empty. Them things is coming to America. Right? Psalm 37, verse 20. But the wicked shall perish. Right. These Edomites. Esau Edom. Beginning with you banking families. You ruling class elites. Right. And the enemies of Yahweh. Right. These are the enemies. The, chi the, pr the, the chief primary enemy is Esau Edom, man. Enemy of Israelites. Israel being a people before a place. An enemy of the Most High, Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. And the enemies of Yahweh shall be as the fat of lambs. They shall consume into smoke, shall they consume away, right? And that's ultimately leading to those thermonuclear, intercontinental ballistic missiles, man. That are going to lay waste to America the Great, Babylon the Great. Thus said the scriptures, man.
right? And Esau is going to be consumed as smoke, right? And his, uh, his nobles, beginning with these elites, they're going to go right into chains. Let's get that. Psalms 149, verse 6, that the high praises of Yahweh be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand. Right? That's going to be the elect. Getting with the elect. They're going to be praising the Most High Yahweh Shemel Shai for deliverance, singing the song of Moses. Right? And a two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people. Right? And this is going to happen, man. Beginning with Esau. Vengeance upon the evil. Verse 8. To bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. Right? That's, that's captivity. Right? To execute upon the judgment. Salah. To execute upon them the judgment written. This honor have all his saints. Praise ye Yahweh. Right? This honor have all his saints, man. This is, this is the judgment that's coming for Esau Edom. Back to Jeremiah, uh, Job 20. Verse 7, once again. Yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. They which have seen him shall say, where is he? Right? Nowhere to be found, man. That's how fast his, his kingdom's going to crash. And no evidence, no evidence of it is going to be left. Right? But these things that are happening now got to come to pass first. Right? And it's going to get more and more wicked out here, man. You know? His election are about to be tested, and two thirds of our people, they're about to wild out and bug out, man. Job 20, verse 8. He shall fly away as a dream and shall not be found. Yet he shall be chased away as a vision of the night, right? No one's going to remember Esau's kingdom. No one's going to remember Esau's rulership. Right? Hey, it's hard now. It's bitter now. No, we were, we're living it. But in the kingdom, no one's going to remember, man. It's going to be as a dream. Isaiah 41, verse 11, and it reads, Behold, meaning look, all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded, right? That's all these other nations. Beginning with Esau, Edom. They're going to be ashamed and confounded. Those that are incensed. Those that have a perpetual hatred. Those that hate Jacob. Israel being a people before a place. You so-called indigenous. You so-called Negro. You so-called Latino. Right? Those that hate thee, right? Shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing. And they that strive with thee shall perish. Thou shalt seek them and shall not find them. Even them that contend with thee. They that war against thee shall be as nothing and as a thing of not right and this is what the most like this this is written man this is going to happen right right they're puffed up now you know this is their kingdom but the scriptures say the most is going to do away with these right verse 8 this place is true man you know wait till the lights go out Job 20 verse 9, the eye also which saw him shall see him no more, neither shall his place any more behold him. His children shall seek to please the poor, and his hands shall restore their goods, right? And we see that, listen, uh, earlier this week, up here in Canada, there was a holiday, I believe it was Monday. It was the first holiday of its, of its kind. This was, this was an inaugural day, but it's going to be year to year based on Esau's uh, decrees. But uh, it was called uh, Truth and Conciliation. And basically is to remember what the uh, indigenous children, the Northern Kingdom, went through in them, in, the, in them residential schools, man. It's their way of apologizing. Let's read this again. Job 20, verse 10. His children shall seek to be, his children shall seek to please the poor, right, Esau. Right? Seek to please the poor. Who's the poor? You Israelites. And his hands shall restore their goods. Right, and ultimately, 
in the kingdom, they're going to go into captivity. Right? And serve Jacob. They're just saying, uh, Isaiah 49. Verse 22. And it reads, Thus saith Yahweh power, Behold, I will lift up my hand to the Gentiles and set up my standard to the people. The Mosai is going to destroy the Gentile nations. Set my, and set up my standard to the people and they shall bring thy sons in their arms and thy daughters shall be carried upon their shoulders, right? This is going to be Esau and the kingdom, man. Right? And kings shall be thy nursing fathers and their queens thy nursing mothers. They shall bow down to thee with their face toward the earth and lick up the dust of thy feet and thou shalt know that I am Yahweh for they shall not be ashamed that wait for me, right? And this is, this, this is, the, this is, the, this is Esau's future. His kings, his nobles, are gonna lick the dust off of their feet. That's symbolic of how low they're gonna be bowing when they see, when they see an elect. Beginning with the elect, when they see an Israelite, man, they're gonna bow down. Right? Jeremiah 15. Verse 5. And this is why Esau's moving so fast, man. Okay, he knows his kingdom's done. Right? He knows his uh He knows his system's done. He knows he knows his rulership's done. Doesn't it say in uh 2nd Ezra 6 verse 9? Let's get that. Second Ezra 6 verse 9. Six verse nine, and it reads, "For Esau, Edom, Esau, Edom, so-called white man, right? Beginning with you ruling class elites, you banking families, right? For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, right? Jacob." Who are you Israelites? Beginning with the elect, right? The kingdom's gonna be ruled in righteousness, man. On earth as it is, as it is, as it, as it is in heaven. Right? That's why this that's why this diabolical madman is moving. Let's get that precept. No flesh will be saved. Right? These are the times that are coming, man. Some serious times. Jacob's trouble. Right? Famine gonna, gonna come back in a big way. You women gonna get it. You women gonna feel it. You know? You, 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 you feminine, fe feminism, pro, pro woman. Woman is ahead. You gonna feel it. Matthew 24, verse 22. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened, right? The most is gonna have to shorten these days, man. Because these days, these days that are coming, it's a serious time that's coming. Right? 
right? And, and on all these mandates are just ushering it in, speeding it up. 2 Thessalonians 2 verse 3. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come. Right? So people, people out here say, ah, the Lord ain't coming, the laws have done away with, it. The, the Lord don't exist. Right? Let no man deceive you by saying that. For that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first. Right? And the falling away was the discontinuing of the heritage of you Israelites. Right? Not knowing who you are. Not knowing the law, statutes, and commandments to this day. Jeremiah 17 verse 4 and it reads and thou even thyself shall discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee right so you don't know who you are you don't know the laws that you commandments and you're just brute beasts living in wickedness and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not and that's taking place here right in Babylon the great America the great Babylon right For ye have kindled a fire in my anger, which shall burn forever, right? So that's why, that's why Israelites are in the state they are in to this day. Second Thessalonians 2 verse 3. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, right? And he's being revealed right now, right? Doing all these, doing all this wickedness, pushing forth his agenda, telling you to hold your arm out, to be indoctrinated and inoc inoculated with this potion, right? He's revealed the son of permit, the son of perdition, right? Destruction, Esau, who opposes and exalted himself above all that is called God, right? And he's the one who did that, put up his image and his likeness, and called himself the Most High. Opposeth everything that's the most high, right? The adversary, right? He's done that. So that he, as the as power sitteth in the temple of Yahweh, showing himself that he is the most high, right? And that's what he done, man. Showed himself that he's God. You're an Israelite. Chosen people of the most high God. His name's Yahweh. And his son's name is Yahweh Shai. Repent. Jake don't want to hear it. Right? And that's what Esau did, man. That's why, that's why, that's why Israel trusts so heavy, man, in what this guy, in what this diabolical madman's doing. Right? Quick. Quick to, uh, Try and uh, make this kingdom, Esau's kingdom, continue on, man. You know, you show Jake that it's a, a psyop, and that it's Esau trying to hang on to his kingdom, they laugh you to scorn. Second John 2, so that, first John 2. Verse 15, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him, right? And that's what that's the problem with two-thirds of our people out here, man. That's the problem with Jake, right? All right, Esau and his mandates, giving an ultimatum. Lose, lose your gig. Lose your gig if you don't, if you don't comply, man. Right? And that's why, that's why two-thirds of our people. They're gonna fall victim to this diabolical madman. Whether it be famine, whether it be pestilence, or ultimately the missiles, man. Leaning and trusting on this, on this broken reed. Isaiah 36, verse six. Lo, meaning look, thou trustest in the staff of this broken reed, right, and that's Jake. Trusted in America the Great, Babylon the Great, this system, right? On Egypt, right? Spiritual Egypt, which is America the Great, Babylon the Great, spiritual Sodom, spiritual, 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 
spiritual side of spiritual Egypt. Right? The vibration of Egypt, the vibration of Sodom. Right? America, 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 America is founded on that. And that's what America pushes. Whereon if a man lean, it will go into his hand, right? And if you lean and you and you put and you rely on this system, Babylon, what will it do? It will go into his hand and pierce it, right? Right? And we don't see nothing yet. We ain't seen nothing yet, man. Right? We ain't seen nothing yet. That's why there's such a rush. Because all hell's about to break loose. And, and, and the adverse effects of this juice is going to start showing itself. So they're rushing. Right? So is Pharaoh king of Egypt to all that trust in him, right? So all that trust in this system, right? It's gonna turn around and consume you. It's gonna, it, it's, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna destroy you, right? Doesn't it say in uh, Micah two and ten, arise and depart? Micah two, verse ten, and it reads, arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you, even with a sword destruction. Right? This place, this place is done. So you put, you put, you put stock, you invest in this place. It's just gonna destroy you, man. Right? It's defiled, man. The food's defiled. The water's defiled. Right? The money system's defiled. Right? The labor system, the work system is defiled. It's all, it, it's polluted, man. They worship, they worship, they worship, they worship everything that's contrary. And against the Most High, everything that opposes the Most High, they worship out here, right? Revelation 12, verse 12, and this is why Esau Russian man, and trying to push out his uh, his jump shot. And it reads, "Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea!" Right? So the angels are rejoicing right now in the spirit world, right? And so are those that died in the Mashiach. And so are those that were martyrs, right? Of the elect. They're rejoicing because the Most High is about to fulfill His word, man. Right? Doesn't it say in Isaiah 55? Isaiah 55, verse 11. So shall my word be, so shall my word be, that go forth out of my mouth, right? The Most High's mouth. His words, and where is his words? In these scriptures, right? It shall not return unto me void, right? It's not gonna come back, void being empty, right? It's gonna fulfill what it said, what it says is gonna take place, right? But it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing where, where to I sent it, right? So this is why this devil is moving so fast, because he knows he knows the most high is about to fulfill, the, 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 these, these prophecies are about to fulfill, man. Revelation 12, verse 12, once again. Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them, right? The, the angels and, and the martyrs of the elect in the spirit world, and those that died in the Mashiach, they're rejoicing. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, right? Destruction to the inhabitants of the earth. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, right? Esau, beginning with his ruling class elites, his banking family, it's coming down having great wrath. Primarily on, primarily on Yasharala, Israel being a people before a place. Right? Having great wrath. That's why he's trying to uh, jump shot up, punch up, punch up Jake in, in great numbers. Right? And JK, and JK fighting. It's only now that uh, they're getting pushed back. You know, a lot of whistleblowing and pushback. Psalm 64 verse 8. They shall cause their tongue to fall upon themselves. And those that see them shall flee. We'll get that next. We're bullying. Because he knoweth that he hath but a short time, right? And he, and he knows, this devil knows his time's running out, man. Right? This devil knows he's, his, his time's running out. Right? But Esau didn't anticipate such stiff pushback. 
Psalm 64, verse 8. This scripture's been coming out a lot lately, man. You see it. And it reads, So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. Right? And that's the whistleblowing. You know, people in the health industry, people in the military, people in their law enforcement. Right? They're, they're speaking out. Right? All that see them shall flee away. Right? And, and his own people are, are distancing, distancing themselves. Trying to get away from, 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 from his uh, agenda. Right? Repent. This place is through, man. It's going to get wickeder and wickeder, man. You know what I mean? We ain't seen see nothing yet over here. Right? Look what's going on in the UK, man. The UK is the first world. The UK is the, is the, is the monetary backing of the beast. Right? And look what's going on over there by, des by design. By design. Right? And this place, you women are about to, uh, beginning with your woman, you're about to, uh, feel some, uh, you're about to feel it, man. Live and direct. Isaiah 32, verse 9. Right, especially, especially Jake woman, Jake woman. Right, the proud Jake woman. Right, rise ye up. So that, rise up, ye women that are at ease. Right, you women out here, you got your job, you know, your own, your own crib, you ran out the man you have, you might have a child or two, you ran him out, right? What is, what's Beyonce, Beyonce song, single ladies, right? You're doing your thing, right? Rise up, ye women that are at ease, right? You're at ease, you're getting it, you're getting the bag, you're living good. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters, give ear unto my speech, right? And you don't want to hear none of this, you women out here. And the times that are going to come, you're going to feel it, because women become a commodity in a time of war, in a time of a siege. And that's what's coming, right? Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless woman, for the vintage shall fail, the gathering shall not come. Right? The vintage is this, 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 this employment, you know, your, 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 your checks, you know, those that are on stimulus, those that are getting assistance, subsidies, is going to fail, man. Right? A time's coming where women ain't going to be able to eat out here, right? And they are the weaker vessel. They're going to feel it. Right? It's going to be affecting everyone as a whole, but you women are going to feel it. A woman, a woman, a woman can't protect herself when, when all things go to anarchy, man. She can't. You watch them shows where they, where they, where they, where they, where they make the woman the, 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 the hero. But uh, when, all, when society collapses, she can't, she, can't, she can't protect herself. First Timothy 5 verse 6 but she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth right and she living in pleasure right now right we're a year and a half in to this uh Esau's uh agenda we're a year and a half in right and we're seeing videos surface of her uh lamenting right right and mo more than likely the ones that are lamenting and complaining are the ones that were living living in pleasure living lavishly man right Verse 11. Tremble, ye women that are at ease. Right? Tremble. Get frightened, man. It's about to get wicked out here. Right? Right? Women and children. Right? The most I said. Let's get it. Let's go. Chapter 9. Isaiah 32, verse 11, once again. Tremble, ye women that are at ease. Be troubled, ye careless ones. Strip you and make you bare. And gird sackcloth upon your loins. Right? Get ready to mourn. Right? The times that are coming. Right? Martial law. Every man for himself. Right? They shall lament for the teats, for the pleasant fields, for the fruitful vine. Right? They're going to lament. They're going to they're gonna be in a mournful spirit, in want, in want of 
survival things, man. Food, water, clothing. Time's gonna come where militias are gonna trade them like commodities, man. We see that in all them doom and gloom, end of the world movies. We see that, man. Ezekiel chapter 9. Verse 4. And Yahweh said unto him, right, the angel, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, right, Israel, Israel being a people before a place. You so-called indigenous, you so-called Latino, you so-called Negro, right? The Most High is about to send a death angel through you as a people, man. You two-thirds. Go through the midst of Jerusalem and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men, right? And this is going into the mark, the, the thawab, upon the, upon, upon, the, upon the elect, right? His elect that are getting the mark of exemption, right? That sign that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof, right? And the elect are the ones that are sighing crying. The elect are the ones that are out here on the hedges prophesying the downfall of Babylon the Great. The elect are the ones that are out here denouncing, rebuking the wickedness that's going on out here, man. You know? Nobody else. And to the others, right, you two-thirds, he said in my hearing, go ye after him through the city, through Jerusalem, through Yasharala, Israel shall bring a people before a place, and smite. Let not your eyes spear, neither have ye pity, right? This death angel that's about to go through two-thirds of Israel, Israel being a people before a place, he's not going to spear. He's not going to have pity, man, right? Verse 6, here's the point. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children, right? And woman, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark, right? The ones with the mark, the thawab, the, the, the mark of exemption, the spiritual mark, they'll be all right. But two-thirds... It says here, utterly, slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children, and women, right? But come not, not, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark, and begin at my sanctuary. Then they began at the ancient men which were before the house, right? So this de death angel, he's about, to, he's about to go through Israel. Israel being a people before a place. Right? And he's not going to spear, man. Right? And that's when, that's when Jake won't... What, what was that you were saying, brother? <laughs> that's what Jake going to want to... What was that you are saying? Right? Can I, uh, can I fellowship with you? Right? The same scoffers. Scoffers going to be... What, 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 what was his name again? You know? How do I get salvation? Most I only hear is, only hear is his, uh, his elect, man, right? But two-thirds of our people out here are going to start bugging out, calling on their, on their idols, right? Most I not dealing with none of that, man. Most I only hear is his elect. Most I only hear is the righteous, right? That's it. John chapter 9. Verse 31. And it reads, Now we know that Yahweh heareth not sinners, but if any man be a worshiper of Yahweh and doeth his will, him he heareth. Right? So the Most High is not going to hear two thirds of our people when they start sighing and crying, man. When all the hell starts to break loose, man. Now is the time to repent. But the Most High is still stretching out his hand. Right? He's not gonna hear, he's not gonna the most I don't hear. The most I don't hear the prayers of sinners, man. Revelation 8 verse 3. And it reads, And another angel came and stood at the altar, having a golden censer. And there was given unto him much incense, right? This is an angel. That he should offer it with the prayers of all saints upon the golden altar which is before the throne, right? The Most High is only going to hear, hear his elect, man. The saints who are their elect, who are the elect. He's not going to hear two-thirds of, 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 of his people. 
two thirds are going to die on this side by pain, right? And they'll come back in the kingdom, man. Right? With their with their minds right. Right? Romans 11, verse 26. Right? Revelation 7, verse 9. After this I beheld, and lo, meaning look, a great multitude which no man could number of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues sp stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. Right, these are going to be the helps. These are going to be Israelite foreigners scattered throughout the nations. Right? Right? Speaking, uh, assimilated Israelites taking on the customs, right? Hellenized Israelites taking on the customs of their, of their, of their oppressor of their, it, within their captivity. These are going to be the helps, the women and the children, right? But two-thirds, two-thirds aren't going to make it, my man. You know what I mean? Right? Mark 13, verse 7, and it reads, and this is a red letter, Yahweh Shai said this, our Lord. And these are, the, these are the times we're in right now, man, right? And when ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, be ye not troubled, right? The elect aren't going to be troubled. Why? For such things must needs be, but the end shall not be yet, right? These things got to happen before the end comes, man. So the elect are, the, the, the elect are on their watch, a watch for these things, watch for the signs, watch for the prophecies. And we're not troubled by the rumors of wars. We're not troubled by the rumors of famine. We're not troubled by the by, 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 by the jump shot mandates. We're not troubled by none of that, man. Right? Right? And on a, a vibration, a spirit of bugging out is heavy out here, man. People are starting to lose it. Wondering how they're going to eat. Right? I'm going to cook two. Verse three. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. The vision, these prophecies, is yet for, is for an appointed time. The end, and we're in that time right now, right? But at the end, it shall speak, and it's speaking loud and clear, man. Right? How is it speaking? By these rumors of war, rumors of famine and pestilence, these 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 these, these, these jump shot mandates, right? Right? Which is the prelude to the Revelation 13 verse 16 on down. It's just the beginning, right? But at the end, it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, right? Though it take a long time, though it seems like it's not coming, wait for it, right? These prophecies are written in this book, man. Right? Because it will surely come, it will not tarry, right? It's not, it's, it's not, it's not going to wait. It's not going to not have it. happen. It's going to happen, man. Mark 13, verse 8. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be earthquakes in diverse places, and there shall be famines, and troubles, these are the beginning of sorrows, right? And these are the times we're in right now. Right? Listen, the spirit, through the spirit, famine's next on deck. Right? These are just some of the ways the most I these are the ways the most I uses to judge. Right? Famine's on deck. Right? People don't act themselves when food when when, when food's short. Right? Ezekiel chapter 5, people, people come out of their, their, their character. Verse 16, and this happened to the Israelites, right? 
but it can, it can apply it in now, man, because the Most High, this is how the Most High judges. When I shall send upon them the evil arrows of famine, right? The Most High sent it, man. The evil arrows of famine. Doesn't it say in uh, Ezekiel, Salah, Isaiah 45, The most I sin in. You, you tell that to Wacky Tack and you he, 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 he want to laugh, you just squirm. You know what I mean? Isaiah 5, Salak. Isaiah 45, verse 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil, right? The most I forms the light and creates darkness. Creates peace and makes evil. I, Yahweh, do all these things, right? So the most I sin in. Like, 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 like the scripture just said, man. The evil arrows of famine. The most I sent it. And that's what's on deck. Which shall be for their destruction, and which I will send to destroy you, and I will increase the famine upon you, and will break your staff of bread. Right? And this is what the most I do, man. It's starting already. Right? It's starting already. Right? People gonna bug out, man. When there's no more A&W. When there's no more KFC. There's no more fast food outlets. There's no more produce in the, in the storehouses. Right? That's when Jake gonna, uh, that's when people gonna start bugging out. Second Ezra 6. It's a lot. Second Ezra Second Ezra 6 verse 22 and it reads and suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown right these crops these farmers crops right they're gonna appear like they weren't planted man right the food chain's broken over there on the west coast there's last I checked a few days ago there's 160 tankers in the in the in the in in in, in uh in, uh, in, in the port over there in, 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 so in SoCal, I believe it is, in California, right? And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown. The full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty, right? And that's your grocery stores, man, right? Right? That's, this is on deck. This is coming, man, right? There's, a, there's already a shortage. You can't find certain things, man. You can't find them. Right? Right? And these are the times that are, these are the times. This is how the Most High gets down. The Most High. Let's get that. This is how he judges. It's Rock 39. Verse 28. There be spirits that are created for vengeance. Right? The Most High created these spirits for vengeance. Vengeance. Most High is about the judge, right? Two thirds of our people, these heathen nations, right? Which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them, right? So when they go out, when they get the green light, and they, 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 they start to do the will of the Most High, Yahweh Shem Shai, by judging. It pleases the Most High. Here's the point. Fire and hail and famine and death. All these were created for, for vengeance, right? The Most High created these things. Fire and hail, famine and death, man. Right? Right? And cannibalism, famine, is coming back. Close out. Lamentations 4. Right? And what's going on right now is a siege. Right? A siege by these elites, by these ruling class elites. Lamentation 4 verse 9, it reads, They that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger. Right? It's better to die by the sword, right? Which is a killing instrument, than to starve to death, man. You know what I mean? Right? When people are faced with famine, when people are faced with food shortage, they turn to eating each other, man. Cannibalism, man. Right? Right? And the weaker, the weaker will be get will get eaten first. Right? 
for these kind of waste chicken fruit for want of the fruits of the field, right? You, you, you die a slow death, right? In want of what? Food. And there ain't none out there, man. Right? And it's another way that Esau going to herd, herd, herd people up in the, in the FEMA camps, right? You know, come, come into this FEMA camp and we'll feed you, right? And, and, and simple Jake, guess where he's going? These FEMA camps, right? Lamentations 4 verse 10, the hands of the pitiful woman have sodden their own children, right? Woman have sodden, sodden means to boil, boil their own children. This happened, man. Scriptures say no new thing under the sun. And the most eyes are about to judge this place, right? Famine's about to make a comeback. The hands of the pitiful woman have sodden their own children. They were their meat in the destruction of the daughter of my people. Right? Women ate their kids during the siege, during 70 AD. Right? A woman going to eat their kids in the, in the time of Jacob's trouble, man. Jeremiah 30, verse 7. And this is what's coming. You know? Repent. Right? But the most side, once, his, once, he's, once he pulls back his hand and he's not stretching forth his hand no more via, via, via hearing this word in the highways and the hedges, via the video epistles, that's his way of, of stretching out. Right? That's, that's his way of saying, hey, repent. Right? Once he pulls back his hand and beginning with the elder apostles on down, pulls up, the elder apostles on down, pulls us off at the hedges, it's done. It's a wrap. Jeremiah 30, verse 7. For thus saith Yahweh. Salah. Jeremiah 30, verse 7. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Right? And, and that time that's coming, man, these military, unless you have the, unless you have the hedge, Isaiah 59, verse 19, unless you have that spiritual standard around you, man, that the wah, that spiritual mark, you're done, you're through. Right? Repent. Isaiah 59, verse 19, and it reads, So shall they fear the name of Yahweh from the west and its glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, right? These military troops, these UN troops, they're gonna come in like a flood. You ever see what? You ever see unbri un 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 unbridled water? The enemy is gonna come in like a flood. Within within America, the great, the spirit of Yahweh shall lift up a standard against him, right? And only his elect are gonna have that spiritual defense, man. Only as a lecker are going to have that spiritual power, that spiritual defense, defense, right? These are the times that are coming, man. Right? A time like no other. Right? Matthew 24. All this mirth, like everything's going back. There's all this carefreeness. Matthew 24, verse 21. For then shall be great tribulation, right? These are the times that are coming, man. Right? 2 Timothy 3, verse 1 says, per Perilous times. Let's get that. Perilous times. 2 Timothy 3, verse 1. This know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. Right? These are the times that are coming, man. Perilous. Perilous means dangerous times. Back to Matthew 24, verse 21. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world, 
to this time, no, nor ever shall be. Right, and this was Red Letter. Yeah, how I said this, man. A time like no other. Right? So get right, repent. Right? Both sides about to judge this place. Pray you edify. I don't want righteous up. Braka fi Yahweh. Braka fi Yahweh Shai. Bahashem. Raka. Kadash. Stay prayed up. Pray without ceasing. Kwame Asherala. Wa abad. Baba.